today we're looking at uploading your children's picture book into Kindle. So first of all you need to sign up for KDP which is your Kindle Direct Publishing. Okay, once you've got an account with that you'll see your bookshelf and all your books will appear on there. So we're going to create a new title. So I'll just click here. So take some time to read through all the steps, the introduction, all about enrolling the book to KDP. Um, by checking this box you are enrolling in KDP Select for 90 days. The books enrolled in KDP Select must not be available in digital format on any other platform during their enrolment. If your book is found to be available anywhere else in digital format, it may not be eligible to remain in the program. Um, so if you're using any other platforms and uploading your book there, your book will not be eligible on here. I choose not to do that. I've done it with one book, um, but with the rest I always use it exclusively for KDP. So I'm going to enrol to that. I'm going to enter the book title. You can give it a subtitle if you've got one. Um, I haven't got this part of a series. Publish, you can put yourself. And a description of the book. So I'm just going to get that from my files. Contributors. I'm putting myself as the illustrator. Your language, mine's English. Okay, with the ISBN, you can publish a Kindle book without one, but if you do have one, you may enter it here. However, it will only be used as a reference and won't actually appear on the detail page. And they're saying don't use one from your print edition. So we'll leave that blank. OK, just to overview the publishing rights. To publish a book for Kindle, you must have obtained all the rights necessary to publish an, the digital book from the author and any other content creators. If you are the book's author, you have retained all the necessary digital book publishing rights. Okay. So this is not in the public domain and I hold the necessary publishing rights. Next we can add a category. I'm just going to have a quick look through it. Is it fiction? I'm just going to put it under humorous for now. Age range. Okay, so, um, so age range, I'm going to say baby, minimum, maximum, I'm going to put 18 plus because I think adults would enjoy it too, and again, preschool, So, search keywords, we can have up to seven. Mm -hmm. 
so again I always put Chester because my books are, are based in Chester um, so now it's asking me to select your book release options I'm ready to release my book now or I can make it available for a pre-order. I'm just going to go ahead and release the book now. Next step is to upload your book cover. So I'm just going to browse for the image. So it's just giving me advice on what format and how many pixels. So that was successful so that's fine um, now I'm going to upload my book files before I do I'm going to show you how to convert the book files from KDP you can download Kindle kids book creator to download the Kindle kids book creator tool if you just go onto Amazon and type in Kindle kids book creator you should find this link or um, copy this link from here and um, this will tell you how to download it for the Mac or the PC and some information on publishing and promoting and that's free to use so I'm going to create a new kids book and it's just given me some information there on importing the covers and how you can add text pop-ups to enhance your book preview and save for publishing okay so continue so I'm just going to put my title in language English okay so where do you want your books to save so browse where you want them to go I've created a folder here and then continue I'm doing mine as landscape so if you remember I did an 8 by 5 8 by 5 double pages when I did my PDF copy so now it's asking me to import the PDF file that I created for my book. So this is just going to take a little while. Now it's saying you have successfully imported your pages. And again, it's advising to enhance it, add pop-ups or text buttons. So click OK. Now just looking through, I can see it's missed the very first page of my PDF. So it's thrown the rest of my pages out. They're not in sync. If I just reduce this to 50%, the pages are incorrect. So what I've done is I've created another image and I can add a page so I can add my page one in there and open and I want that at the beginning of the book so now that makes a difference everything has shifted a page so they all now appear on the correct page okay so if I wanted to add pop-up text I can move it to where I want it to appear and then click on view and then enter my text
to get in the link from YouTube for Caden's channel. <laughs> I don't know if that will work, but we'll see. Then I'm going to save for publishing and make sure that's going into the folder I linked it to. And that's going to save as an ebook Mobi file. And again, this is going to take a, a little while to build. Okay, I've got this pop up, so read through that. It's just giving you information on how to upload it to KDP. And I can save. I can also do a book preview. So if you get a pop up, this is probably uh, the new Windows security, so I'm just going to allow access. So I can view my book. So if I click on the Fire HD, this is how it's going to look on there. Now let's go back to KDP to upload our file. First of all, we need to decide if we want to select Digital Rights Management. Digital Rights Management is a way of inhibiting authorised distribution of your Kindle file. Uh, some, some authors want to encourage readers to share their work, some people want to restrict it. I'm going to leave mine as not enabled. I don't mind if people share my work. Then I'm going to browse for the file. Okay, so I've got here the Kindle book for the Y word. I'm looking for the Moby file. You can tell it's the file here because it's a larger file than, than the rest. So I'm going to select that and that will upload and convert it into the correct format. That's uploaded successfully. I can now preview the book. First of all, I need to save any changes. So because it's a new file, I've put all the new information I do need to save and continue. Okay, that's saved and I've got this page now. Verify your publishing territories. Let's just have a look at the information on there. If you hold worldwide rights for your book, select worldwide rights option. This enables Amazon to make your book available for sale worldwide. I'm going to leave it with that. So I'm going to set my price. It's got a, a notice here, effective from January the 1st, 2015. List prices for EU marketplaces include VAT. So you've got to specify your royalty options as well for this. Okay, let's just have a look at the options here. If you select 35% royalty options, the delivery costs do not apply. If you're selecting the 70% royalty option for your book, when you enter your list price in they choose your royalty box, you will see the delivery costs associated with this book. We've got to decide if we want 35% royalty or 70%. Now the difference is, at the moment, if I choose 35%, your price can be between $199 and $200. If I choose 70%, we can't go any higher than $999. So if I leave it on 70% and I put to 99, that gives me an estimated royalty rate of £1 and 2p on in the UK one.
Now the difference is if I go for 35% I can go as low as 199 and I'll make 4 to 5p. I think I will go with the 70%. I usually go for the 35% and put my price as low as possible. Let's see what will happen. Let's have a look at the Kindle Matchbook programme. We can enrol this book for that, which gives our customers who've bought a print version from Amazon previously the chance to purchase the Kindle version for $2.99 or less. I'm going to enrol for that. We've got an option here, $0.99 cents or free. So I'm going to offer it for free. I'm going to allow lending of this book. So it's saying now by clicking save and publish below I confirm that I have all the rights necessary to make the content I am uploading available for marketing, distribution and sale in each territory um, I have indicated above and that I am in compliance with the KDP terms and conditions. So I put a tick in there and save and publish. So that's initiating, now it's publishing. It's saying please be aware that it can take 12 hours for English and 48 hours for other languages to be available for purchase in the Amazon Kindle store. Until then, the book status will be in review on your bookshelf. So if I click back to your bookshelf, you can see it now generating under my list of books. And there it is. So it's under review. I'll probably get an email just to let me know when that's gone through. I can then log on and have a look on here and have access to other book options for, for this particular book. Okay, that's Evelyn Winters showing you how to convert your picture book into Kindle. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials on self-publishing.